What is going on everyone? This is your boy Mr. Pyle and today we have a Battlefield 3 commentary for you. Um, basically this is Rush on Karg Island and I know this is a really long video. I've just got a lot of stuff to say really. Um, so, first off, um, as you can see, yeah, it's Rush on Karg Island. Um, I think it's the whole match. I have oh, no idea what weapons I use for the game. Yeah, so... That's in the background as a backdrop, really. Um, so yeah, basically, I just want to talk about the upcoming stuff with Battlefield and stuff revolving Battlefield. I mean, I haven't really done this for a long time. You just talk about the odd random thing that's happened in my, happened in my life, and yeah. Um, so Battlefield. Um, so 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 so. Okay, so we have the basically. I'm reading this news article on Battlefield's blog. Um, August premium events. Okay, so the first thing is that we are getting a premium video, and so that's obviously good. We're getting a, about a, all premium people. Everyone's got premium. Uh, now been allowed uh, on the 29th of August, so in four days' time, um, you're going to be given a exclusive arm kill gameplay. So that will be really good to see. Um, obviously, we've seen trailers for armor kill but this will be a whole gameplay and probably not probably like say about two minutes worth of gameplay from all different maps um but we will see what it's actually like i mean in the trailers we only had like say like 20 second clips in this we're going to have a full maybe minute minute and a half of actual clips that we could see and understand how the whole game's going to work and they'll probably put little things in there like this is how you do this and this is how you do that stuff like that um so that'll be released august 29th um, also on August 29th, there's a premium bonus content exclusive artwork booklet. Um, and that is coming out on the 29th as well. I mean, it's just artwork for the... Um, it's artwork for a single player, actually. Yeah, for single player maps. Um, I think it's actually all been painted. It looks like it's all been painted on here on the web, well, on the blog. It looks like it's all been painted, like done really well and everything. And it looks really realistic, so I can't wait to see them. I mean getting a few more desktop backgrounds <laughs> can't wait for them well, my desktop background at the moment is epic grab hours of history yeah buddy um, yeah we got that um, the weekend coming up um, so the day you're seeing this the 25th there is a double XP weekend and the last double XP and basically what they've done actually Battlefield have tweeted out and stuff go to the Facebook page and do a load of shares and stuff for every 5,000 shares adding another 48 hours onto the um onto the double xp weekend and i know for the moment it is nearly it's not even a weekend even it is nearly a week i mean they're going from the 25th of august to the 31st of august so it's a five day premium double xp event that's going to be awesome and i think we have the weekend as well so the first and second of september that will be um, double XP as well. I'm not really too sure, um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But it's really good. I finally got up to rank, uh, up to Colonel rank in the gameplay. I'm not Colonel rank. I get promoted in like a few days' time in the gameplay, but whatever. Um, I'm now Colonel rank, so I can now go up to a few more levels in the Colonel. I mean, last double XP, I was like rank 32 or something. I'm up to rank 40 in oh, rank 40. Sorry, I'm up to rank. 37 in a matter of two days it's just constantly well I'm not even constantly playing I played for about two hours and went up about five ranks so it is good I mean obviously yeah you need to be good at Battlefield to be able to progress that quickly and that much in such a short space of time but over the time you get to do it and it's really good um, so yeah and then obviously September the 11th um, all premium players will be getting Armoured Kill um, I think it's a September. I'm not sure if it's, a, if it's asked the date for the PS3 release or the Xbox release or PC release or whatever. All I know is that because I've got premium, I'm getting it two weeks early than everyone else that hasn't got premium. That is on the Xbox and the normal one. Normal one, not one about Xbox and PC. To be fair, PC is the normal one if you're talking about Battlefield because that's what Battlefield originated on. So, yeah. Anyway. Um off of that so armor kill it's gonna be amazing it comes out september um gonna be getting a lot of gameplay of that for me i mean i did say in earlier videos in the year that uh, i don't really know if i wanted to get armor kill because well 
I don't, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of the vehicles, to be fair. I mean, vehicles, yeah, they're good, they're fun to use, but, I mean, I went back to play 1943 the other day, and I just go and fly the jets, because the jet controls on Battlefield 3 are completely different to what they are in 1943. And it's the same with Bad Company 2. I could fly helicopters in Bad Company 2 perfectly. I was a helicopter god. I was, like, the best driver. If you have me on your team, I'll be in the helicopter flying around doing my duty. But no, 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 in this one the helicopters are a piece of shit to drive and it takes a lot of skill and time and just, I haven't got that time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, oh well, such is life. Um, but yeah, and then I think it's the 31st of August, yeah, yeah, on the start date, 31st of August, there is a competition dice are holding, it's a premium event only though. Um, so even more reason to get premium, but you can pitch your idea of a battlefield map com concept to DICE. I mean, it sounds really good, and, and on this here, I'm reading straight from the article from this, um, okay, it says, This is your chance to, s to submit your level idea and have it judged by the curators of Battlefield 3, which are DICE. Pitch your most awesome idea for a battlefield map, and you could win an extremely limited edition Battlefield 3 Life the Graph, I don't know what that is, signed by the DICE team. Full details on how to enter, blah, 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 blah. Um, and all that lot. And it's going to be really good. Um, so, yeah, it's, I'm going to pitch an idea, definitely, because if you don't pitch an idea, you've got no hope. Okay? Okay? Because, uh, like, the idea is just like, oh, mate, because you could come up with so many. I mean, you could have lots of different types of maps it is just going to be amazing um i mean like god i could just think about the ones that you could have i mean um i'm coming off the top of my head right here but uh you could have say like back in the bad company two maps you could have like a jungle map again because those maps were really good the color schemes and stuff in that game were amazing i mean in back in battlefield 3 it's more to a bluey side if you know what i mean there's more blue involved in the game, but in Bad Company 2, it was more saturated and the colours were amazing. If you have a map like, say, Laguna Presa, that would be perfect. I mean, that would be a perfect map idea. And you say, you know, like, you could submit it like, it's like Laguna Presa, but not Laguna Presa. Um, it's set in South a in South African jungles, or South African jungles, South American jungles, like near the Amazon River, and stuff like that. Or you could even, like, submit an idea for, like, an actual game type, like a new game type, like say, um, I don't know, like, like a jet race even, like, um, so you fly in like, not in a straight line, it has to be obstacle stuff, you go through like, checkpoints and stuff in the air, I mean, that would be a really good game mode to play, I mean, or you can have, um, Battlefield 3 Air Superiority, which I guess is kind of like Armour Kill, but Air Superiority in 1943, that was a brilliant game concept there. I mean, I would play that game for hours. Just, I mean, I played Air Superiority in, back, in Battlefield 1943 just to really get a feel for the planes. I mean, if, yeah. So there needs to kind of be a game mode in Battlefield 3 just so people can get a feel for the games and say, like, like just get a feel for the jet and, like, the planes and stuff. I mean, yeah, Armour Kill's coming out, so there will be a lot more chance to do that, but most people know how to use tanks, most people know how to use jeeps and buggies because it's just as simple. You drive around and shoot. With the jets, though, it's more complicated, and especially with the helicopters, because you've got the normal, you've got the massive rotisserie blade, and it's going round, 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 and that gives you your lift. But then you have the one at the back, which then allows you to turn and tilt and stuff. Now that one, um, that, that helicopters are really difficult to fly. I mean, if I mean, you have the coordination skills definitely, because you're able to play battlefield. If you don't have coordination skills, then why play battlefield? Um, but it's, it is really. I think the concept of having like a vehicle only thing, which is what they do in Rama Kill, but like a plane only map, or say a helicopter only map, or you could have like a game type, like it's not like Gun Master, if you know what I mean, but like, so you start off in all these different vehicles, so you have to get one kill with one vehicle, like say, um, kill someone in a buggy, so like at the start everyone's with buggies and you're flying around with the buggies. I mean, obviously, when it gets to the heavy armor, then you're allowed to have RPGs and stuff to try and take them out. Um, but every single time, so like, say you start off in a buggy with a MG at the back, and only one person per buggy, um, so you get in your buggy, and you ride down the map, and you see someone, 
and they stop and try and shoot at you and you're like okay then so you jump into your MG and you start shooting at them and then the first one to and then once you get the kill you don't die you get reset back to your spawn but you then spawn in say a um, oh, what would it be like an LAV or something and then you exactly the same thing happens you kill someone and then you go into a tank and then from the tank you go to a helicopter like an Apache like an attack helicopter then from the helicopter you go for a jet and then once you complete it with the jet you win the game um, I mean yeah that could be over really quickly if you're good with vehicles but it'll be a fun game mode to play I mean especially if you're friends I mean it could just be like a private match game mode if you know what I mean um, and stuff like that it'll be really fun to play um, it, it, see that just like just it's just amazing I mean I would happily sit there all day and just play that game mode with people in the jets and the cars and stuff because that would be really fun and I probably a lot of you will agree with me that that would be really fun um, but it's just like some people will obviously abuse that and play the crap out of it and then find how to just get the jet almost instantly and win the game but then the things with the jet you would only allow to be able to use the normal bullets so taking out a tank would be a lot harder and the only way to really get a kill with that would be if you're if some match is still in a buggy which would be really unfair to be fair but hey ho there so yeah and we are only only we are only only we are only just about 12 minutes into the commentary and I'm kind of running out of things to say. I've got two more things really. Um, Battlefield 3 Premium Edition. Now, um, if you if you played Bad Company 2, you would know that they released, I think, I can't remember what edition it was. It was a certain edition near, it's about, um, about a year after it got released. Maybe nine months, maybe like now. Because in nine months ago, Battlefield 3 was released, so nine months forward in time, they've released it. They've released the premium edition. And basically, what the premium edition is, it's more money. Yes, it's seventy dollars. About uh, equates to about fifty fifty pounds. I'm not sure how much it is in euros. Sorry, European folk. Um, but like, the only thing is, us people who've had it since release, or not long after release. Like me, I had it for my birthday, about a month after release. Um, we paid um, forty pounds for it, or sixty dollars, and then now we paid another forty pounds, or another I think it was. I paid forty, uh, thirty-five pounds, sorry for premium, because that's how much it was in like converted, and it's about fifty pa fifty dollars in America. Um, so yeah, that adds up to quite a lot of money. I mean, seventy pounds here. I'm about seventy pound mark, and a hundred and ten dollars in America. Now that is a lot of money if you think about, it, especially in this economic climate. You're not exactly going to go around and spend that amount of money on a video game, but some people did. I did, um, but I only spent that amount of money because I was working at the time and I had enough money to pay for it. Um, but it's like these people are now getting a shortcut because they basically the premium edition it gives them back for free obviously it gives them back to Karkand well it gives them all the um, premium stuff yeah they also get a chance to I think there's um, I think they've got all the weapon unlocks as well on the on the store on the in-game store so you can just quickly advance so say you bought the game today and you're, you're like oh I got the premium edition this is so cool I got all the everything for, for like twenty dollars less I mean yeah the game deteriorates in price over a year or so but surely us people who are, who are loyal Battlefield players and stuff should get something for this. I mean, like in Team Fortress 2, I mean, like, um, before it became play to play, like a free-to-play game, everyone who bought it before it came free-to-play, they got a special Team Fortress 2 hat. I mean, yeah, it's not really much compensation, but, I mean, it's something. I mean, we should get something to say we got it before the Premium Edition. But, oh well... I mean, it's just, it's one of those things that just annoy me because we spent all that money on it and then they're just getting it for like so much cheaper. And yeah. But like what I was saying earlier, like a rank one or something, say they got the game today, they got the premium edition, they got all the good stuff there. And then they're like, oh, but I've got all the crap guns, what am I going to do? What they can do is they can go into the game store and it says, 
weapon unlocks. I mean, you can do the assault weapon unlock. You can do a kit bundle and all of that lot. Now, I was just thinking to myself, why would you do that? It's just a waste of time. I mean, the only, I mean, the only reason why a lot of people play Battlefield is because the amount of unlockable stuff you can get in this game, it's just like, I'm going to go for that unlock next, and that unlock, and that one, and that one, and that one. And the fact that they put assignments in this one makes it even more fun, because in Bad Company 2, I remember, you unlocked every gun around about rank 22 mark, and then you had about another 28 ranks to go until you became rank 50, and then that was basically the game over for you. I mean, yeah. And a lot of people got bored. Me, myself, I got bored when I used to make Bad Company 2 videos. I used to just play it to record. So I would sit there, play it for about half an hour, record, about two games maybe, and then come off and then do whatever I wanted for the rest of the day. I mean, I'd like play FIFA for the rest of the day or something. I mean, it's just, it got boring because there was nothing else to do in the game because all you were doing were just killing people and not even trying to unlock anything. And that's the whole fun about Battlefield. You want to unlock stuff, you want to progress, and it's like, basically, I think the reason why they put all the kernel stuff in this one is because you have so much time to unlock stuff. I mean, it's just so much better. Um, and... It, I mean, yeah, the unlock system in this game is much better than Bad Company 2, but the Bad Company 2 engine, I mean, I like, the, I like that engine, that was amazing. I mean, the Destruction 2.0 and the Frostbite engine, that was really good back then. I mean, they improved it so much from Bad Company 1 when they first used it, I think. So the game's come a long way, but, yeah, I mean, it has really given people shortcuts and then losing out on the fun of the game. I mean, a lot of people say... Oh yeah, I buy that game for the campaign. And oh yeah, I buy that game for the multiplayer. But you don't play, you don't buy it for the multiplayer. You buy it for the unlock experience. You buy it to be able to unlock all these items and stuff. I mean, the one thing that COD have got right is that once you prestige, you have to unlock it all again, and that makes you want to keep playing so you can unlock all your guns again. Um, and it's it's fun. I mean, like in Ultimate Team on FIFA, you can delete your team and then start from scratch and everything. I mean, it's just the aspect so it can never get old and never get boring, so you can just... I mean, you're eating steps that you've done in the past, but you're also making it feel like you're, um, you're starting again, and it's like a whole new game to you. I mean, you'll come across new things all the time and everything. I mean, I personally haven't unlocked every single gun in every single class yet. Um... And things the sniper class I haven't completely finished yet. I need to get the Russian acquired stuff. But yeah, technically I've completed every gun in that class. But then you've got all the assignment guns. I've got I haven't got the JNG ninety yet. I mean that gun I can't wait to get that gun can be amazing. But yeah, apart from that I haven't got I haven't completed the whole game fully yet. So and it keeps me want to play in it more, I mean, especially because I've just really got into Battlefield again. And stages I've been mean, like I go through stages of playing Battlefield, I go through stages of playing FIFA a lot, and I just get into the mindset I want to play Battlefield more or I want to play FIFA more, and it's just f really fun to play and fun just to do and spend your time on. But anyway, this is the end of the commentary. I hope you have enjoyed my thoughts and stuff on this video. So till next time, see you guys and peace.